welcome to Anjan JCP Data Engineering. So in this video, we will see a concept called BigQuery Table Function. Okay. So I just wanted to share this concept. So it's really very interesting. Okay. So let us quickly go to uh, its theoretical concepts and then we'll uh, see this demo. Okay. So basically, a table function is a user-defined function. Okay. So it's like our traditional function where it will take certain input arguments and it will output something. But in case of our traditional function, it will take a certain number of input arguments, but it will always return a single value. All right. So but coming to the tabular function, that is table function, it returns table kind of results. The results look like table itself. Okay. So the results are returned by this table function can be used as a table itself. So where the, these are the few use cases where we can join these results with other tables, right? If you have to write some query by joining tables with uh, some result set, right? So definitely in that use case, uh, we can use this table function, okay? And uh, it is this features, like the features belong to the table function combination of uh, our traditional function and also a view as well you know view right view is a, uh, a query that means uh, uh, we will just store that query with uh, with some name and uh, you can always uh, reuse that query right so basically uh, it will just uh, use the result like a table view but it doesn't take any in, any input arguments right but in case of traditional function it will take the input arguments and it will always return a single value now this table function is combination of the view and also uh, our uh, traditional function right this will take input argument and also it will produce the result in the form of table right so and also you can authorize this table function right so our, i'm already done a video on authorized view concept so as view so definitely you will get that just go through that concept so this concept also looks similar okay and there are also some limitations right so we will see those limitations right so one thing is you cannot use right any of the table column name which are being used while create the while creating this function as a function input arguments because mm, it will just uh, raise an error that's why it's always recommended not to use any table column name as an input argument name okay and the param must be scalar type right you cannot use uh, a record or something right so as an input argument also while creating table function it will always use the select query right but it doesn't allow ddls and dml inside that select query right we will see those examples okay so now quickly we can go to our uh, demo slide, right? So in the demo, right, what we'll see, we'll create this function, okay? And uh, we'll try to see we, whether we can join this function result with the other table, right? It's basically it's a combination of function and the table. The results will be always in the tabular format and we'll see some examples, okay? So now let us go to our demo. So these are the few queries I have already written for our demo purpose. Uh, let us see one by one, okay? So first of all, this is a syntax or standard syntax to create table function, okay? So this is the data set. I, I have it already, okay? So over here, okay? Uh, see, it's taking this input argument okay so this is our select query okay so i'm just trying to use a public data set so and the table called uh, post answers the data set is stack overflow so this table have stack overflow post related information question and answers and number of answers given by a user and all those stats available in this table you can go through the public data set you can just browse this table you will get all those details okay and we have this information uh, based on our, we can filter this information based on a timestamp also that is creation date because each post will be created and and uh, it has been associated with some timestamp that's where i'm trying to filter this creation date based on uh, this filter timestamp okay so 
so this is the query look like so right this is simple query okay so if you i'm just trying to filter this one this timestamp 2022 if you run this right uh, now this has been filtered you can uh, if you want to change this filter you can change it okay and run it uh, now just I would like to create this query result as a function now if I have to do that yeah definitely I can use this table function right so so you can pass this timestamp as ever into argument always if you want to uh, reuse it right basically let's say if there is a query and uh, it is taking certain um, filter condition based on some timestamp or date if you have to reuse that query in multiple places right in such case so you will have to always uh, use that query and it's going to be a code redundant right so if you have to create this as a function simply try to call that function and join that function right then it will be it will be like uh, flexible and very useful in such cases right so that's why this comes very handy that is table function right when you have to reuse something based on some filter criteria right now let us try to create this function so i'm using create and replace now it says this statement create a new table function name this thing right now if you try to query this function simply you can use select star from right as if you are select um, uh, trying to query it from a table right now this is acting as a table but it is a function which is taking this parameter as an argument right let us try to right now if we try to change this to three still it will work right that is where it is very useful right yeah so right now you can join this table function with other tables also right now here i'm trying to join this table function with this table again this is one more table from this data set so this is post answers and this is post questions okay these are the two different tables from this public data set right now i would like to join our table function with this table based on this display name all right this is a common column available between these two okay so if i can do that right so you can see the join results over here right you can also simply change this parameter to some file and then you should see the results different results set okay right so can you see uh, the advantage now so in case of traditional uh, functions so i can't use the traditional function like this in the join condition but in case of table function definitely you can use so this is a simple concept just i wanted to share this with you uh, yeah that's it for this video uh, thank you thank you very much for watching i will try to uh, make this code available through our uh, video description section thank you